Good day, McVeigh, and happy Thursday. How are you, boys and girls? Let's get started with our birthdays. All right, let's see. Happy birthday today to Mila Bonzalakis in our kindergarten, and Sol Lopez, also in our kindergarten. And now, boys and girls, we're getting to our jokes. Listen, I need some jokes. The ones that I have today are not illustrated, and our joke book is pretty thick. But... I know we can do more. Yeah. All right. So this one's coming from the Cardalis. Here we go. How do you make a piece of wood a queen? How do you make a piece of wood a queen? You turn it into a ruler. Uh, and so that's kind of like another joke that we had about uh, which one, which supply is best. The ruler, got it? And what's a cat's favorite color? Think about words, cats. Maybe this is a clue. Purple. <laughs> cats purr, purple. All right. And you'll notice I have on my purple McVeigh Field Day t-shirt this year. I was a member of every team, of course. All right. Now. Riddles. Yeah, riddles. Okay. So here was the question. What never asks a question but still gets answered? Never asks a question and still gets answered. So we got some excellent, excellent responses to this. And I'd like to share them with you. So, Emily Cardalli initially said a phone. Absolutely, that's one of the answers. So, it rings, you answer it. It doesn't ask a question, it rings, and so you answer it. Okay. But, then she started thinking more, and she said this, a baby. Now, a baby can't ask anything because the baby can't talk, but... A baby communicates through crying, and then we answer that cry by getting them whatever they need. Maybe they're hungry, maybe they need to be changed, whatever it is. But yes, that also is accurate. Then Alyssa said a doorbell. Yep, that works too. And that those two, phone and doorbell, were the two answers that Siddharth gave. But then Lucas said a book. He also said a phone, but think about a book. So if you're wondering about something yourself, you go to a book and read it. It gives you the answer, but it didn't ask the question. You had the question. Aha. Love that, Lucas. And boys and girls, that could be a lot of different things. When you have the question... And you get the answer from it. They didn't get the, you had the question and you got the answer somewhere else. So that would fit what never asked a question, but still gets answers. Okay, very good. Well done. And now for today's riddle, listen carefully. Two fathers and two sons are in a car, yet there are only three people in that car. How could that be? It's two fathers and two sons, there's only three people. Let's see if you can figure that out. I know you can. All right, so where on earth? All right, so we had these pictures, and this was Miss Checo. And I said the clue was the animal. And you could also see the, the water. She and her sister are. So this is actually Kamala Beach in Thailand. Yes, it was Thailand. And this is a Lipuri monkey in Thailand. So uh, Sophia and I were going back and forth because she figured out it was Thailand, and as she figured out it was Thailand, we were 
talking about the uh, monkey because one of the clues I gave was that this country has a celebration related to the monkey. So here's what Sophia said. We think it's Lepori in Thailand. We think it's Lepori in Thailand because you said to look at the type of the monkey. So we looked at the monkey and saw the color and the monkey was tan. And then we went to see where there are tan monkeys and we saw that there are tan monkeys in Thailand. This event is called the Monkey Buffet Festival. It's called the Buffet Festival because you feed the monkeys, not eat the monkeys. Very important, yes. So, now I initially said, hey, Sophia, yes, but close, because I knew this as the Monkey Banquet Festival. And it's actually called both. Um, and boys and girls at a banquet or a buffet, what do you do? Eat a lot, so to speak. And so I could see why it, would be, why it would be called both. But I love how the research took place and how Sophie and I were able to have that conversation and they were able to figure things out. Well done. So now this one is more complicated. Again, there are not that many clues. Okay, and by the way, several others figured out uh, that it was Thailand. So it was Lucas, Alyssa, Zach, uh, the Viveros family, and Emma. But here, again, the clue is the animal but also the fact that Miss Wallace was wearing a tank top and we're talking about some snow there. Where could they be? The animal is a huge clue there. What kind of animal is that? Hmm, let's see if we can figure that out. Now, yesterday I forgot to talk about this. Only one person figured this out. So this is those Long Island towns. Only one person figured this out. What is the name of this Long Island town? And it's near us. So you see what that is. It's a castle and it was established in 2020. Alyssa got this. Let's see if somebody else can get that. Now let's move on to science. So, yesterday we saw the Jeffrey sisters and they did an experiment where they took a dry erase marker, they drew on a plate, and then they poured some water in. They did throw, pour the water in at a controlled pace. So, in other words, they didn't just dump it right in. They, controlled, they poured it in at a controlled pace. And the drawing, or the stick figure, which is what they drew, started to float, or parts of it started to float. So the question was, why? Why is that happening? So here's what Emma said. She said, the stick figure floated because a strong buoyancy flow, uh, force overcomes the ink, the stickiness of the ink. And that makes the uh, figure peel off the bottom of the plate. Now, buoyancy, what is buoyancy? It has to do with floating. And so now, what do we know about oil and water? What do we know about the salt and the sucker? And now we have the ink. What do we know? See if we can figure this out. We're learning so much when we're not in school. All right, and today we have another project to share with you. Let me see if I can pick, uh, pull it up. And so, yep, we have Mohammedan and Hiba. And here they are. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn this up. Oh, went the wrong way. And I'm in first grade. I'm going to start it, it over. Mohammed Farouk, and this is my sister, Hiba Farouk. 
and I'm in first grade. Today we are going to be doing gummy bear osmosis. Um, we're going to put each, this is orange juice, this is tap water, and this is sugar water, and this is salt water. We're going to put each gummy bear in, um, we're going to put one gummy bear in each bowl of, um, the, okay, there, 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 and there. We're going to wait one hour before, uh, after one hour, we're going to check back on this. Okay. So then one hour goes by, and part two. It's been one hour we took back on the orange juice, on the gummy bears. The red one and the orange juice um, it stayed the same in size. The tap water one became slimy and grew. Mm -hmm. The sugar water one grew and is slimy, and the, the salt water one slimy but stayed the same size. This is how gummy bears look in each liquid salt water, sugar water, tap water, and orange juice. Bye. All right, what does that remind you of? Now, we saw another gummy bear experiment. It's very similar to this. But what does that remind you of? If you're thinking about the beans that Sebastian worked with, I am too. What happened with the beans? What happened with the gummy bears? How is it, How are they related? Hmm. These are all things that are the beginning of science, all of them. And we're learning about them while you're at home and I'm here. Isn't that awesome? Okay. So I, I hope to hear back about what's happening in our science. I hope somebody can figure out what's happening in uh, these pictures. And also somebody can figure out our Long Island town. Yeah, this one. Don't forget. But, boys and girls, the most important I hope you uh, thing that I hope you figure out is related to our mighty kind moment of the day. So let's get our drum roll. Da, da, da. I'm gonna go over here to our uh, bags. All right, and today, here it is. Make someone smile today. I hope you figure out how to do that today. How to make somebody smile. I know how you can make me smile. Send me some jokes. I always laugh. I get a good laugh. I have a lot of things going on at school, and your jokes make me laugh. They they bring a big smile to my face. What can you do to make someone smile today? Anything. Anyone. Let's see if you can do it. And when it happens, I want you to say, yes, I did it. I know you can. Why? Because you're a mighty mind, and not only that, you're mighty kind, mighty mind, and every day is a great day, boys and girls. Get smart. And be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.